Hello guys, welcome to the video, I hope you all are well. Today's video guys is for Jade Harvest on the Wish to Class for Season 27. And this is the GR Speeds variant. Now guys, during this phase of the test server, I've asked Blizzard if we can get a buff to the Jade Harvester 6 piece set. So, fingers crossed they do it. If not, don't worry man, we can still use this for low beast speeds because it can absolutely tear through. I've just done the T6 version as well guys from JMA. Thanks again JMA. So, um... Hey guys, so basically what is the Season 27 mechanic, so I sent Blizzard some feedback, we got the old PTR version changed to this new version here, where enemies affected by Locust Swarm also are haunted, okay? So what happened is loads of haunts are spamming out like crazy, and it's proccing the J2 piece bonus, and it will kill weak trash extremely quickly, okay? So it's really fun, man, it's really, really good. So, and also, um, when you cast Piranhas, all haunted enemies within 60 yards are pulled to the pool. Lesser enemies are stunned by the Bogodar and instantly killed. So basically, when a Bogodar went up, bar, anything that is uh, haunted automatically from local Swarm, because we're using Wormwood in the cube, will be pulled straight to the pool. And then you just Soul Harvest with Jade Harvester, and bang, and thing dies. So I'm really, really hoping for a last minute buff guys with Jade 6 piece, man, because the season mechanic is amazing. It'd be amazing for Jade. I really hope we get a buff for Jade, guys, on the main damage. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, let's go to show this in action. Um, obviously, Jade isn't that strong. You know, it's one, it's probably our weakest set, at the moment, which is a really shame because it's actually one of the most fun builds on the Witch Doctor. So, I'm just going to do a GR90. We've got no orcs, man, just basic gem levels. Nothing, nothing crazy. But, um, but watch this, guys. It's, it's very, very cool, man. Look, all the haunts, man. Because we've got well we're doing the queue. It's just spamming haunts for us. And as soon as two haunts get to a target, and of course, uh, you know, it's just going to blow them up. <laughs> it's going to blow them up. Use it in Geom as well. So we've got, once we kill on Leap Pack and his sub minions, we uh, get that lovely surge of speed. But look at this, look. And that nice, look. Anything that survives, we can just use the season mechanic with Bogodile, pull it in, then hit Jade Harvester and see. Very, very fun build. Like, really fun. I just wish it was stronger. There you go, look, watch this guys, look, yoink, and just spam. You can literally just go forward and just spam Soul Harvest if you wanted to. But as usual, you, you want to be rushing to at least. That's one right here, brilliant. And boom! <laughs> Jade Harvester Booms guy is back, back a bit, back a bit. Boom, boom, there it goes. <laughs> you see, guys, it's extremely fun, man. So, yeah, at the moment, if you know, if the damage stays the way it is, it's a nice build for, like, low BGRs, you know? So if you're doing, like, quick gem ups and things like that, this build is extremely good for this, because we can just pull in the whole screen, pretty much. That's affected by Logo Swarm, you know? So it's, uh, it's really nice. Let me just go here and go, yoink, and Soul Harvest. Boom! And they're all dead. <laughs> it's very, very cool, man. Very cool. I show me you've got a map map, like really like if you get a map like crazy density. Oh man, it's so satisfying to see the whole screen, man, just get absolutely destroyed. So good. Oh power pile as well, nice. Boom, boom. You see what I mean? It's really nice, man. It's really nice and mobile. It's just it's just it's jade guys, you know, it's jade harvester, man. It's jade's jade's awesome. Just needs more damage. Come on, Blitz, if you guys are watching this video, man, I'm gonna give you guys the feedback. Please buff Jade six piece, man. Because this season mechanic is perfect for Jade Harvester. Literally perfect, man. We ain't asking for the moon or a new meta, man. Just make it as good as Arak here, man. Make, make it as good as Arak here. What Arak here's spider's content can do. I ain't greedy, man. You know? But it's, um... Yeah, the, this mechanic, guys, for Jade is just, just amazing. It's just so easy. You know? Look at these mobs here, like... And if he survives, yank him in, boom! <laughs> uh, oh, we got Condi now. Do we even need it? Oh, really no. There's a Rift Guardian. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And boom! And there you go, guys. <laughs> what an absolutely awesome build, man. It's so nice, guys, with the season mechanic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, then, guys, so uh, let's quickly go over the gear and all that. There's a few things we can swap out, but this is uh, designed for, like, early game sort of thing. So you have some tank and things like that. Let's go over this skills, gear, and the follower setup. And it good though, isn't it, man? Jade Harvester, boom! Come on, Blizz! Buff it, man! Buff it, please! For season 27. 
Well then guys, so uh, what we're using, we're using Geom. So when we kill an elite pack, we get 10 seconds of cooldown for 15 seconds. So we can spam Spirit Walk for our mobility, and of course spam Soul Harvest, which procs all the big damage, okay? Before you do this, make sure you use Bogodile before everything can. And boom, and boom, just kill him, yeah? Off that guys, use Sharaka's Triumph. So as we're in Spirit Walk, we do up to 100% damage bonus, which is really, really good. Gives a lot of mobility as well. Brilliant. Uh, rings, guys, Ring of Emptiness and the Compass Rose with Traveler's Pledge. Ring of Emptiness gives us an extra 300% damage buff, guys, when mobs are haunted or locust swarmed. The first gem you guys, of course, is Bane of the Trap for the big damage bonus. Okay. Then, guys, using Compass Rose and Traveler's Pledge, so when you're standing still, you get 100% damage buff. When you're moving forward, you get 50% damage reduction. So this helps in the early game for you not to get one shot. <laughs> but eventually, what you can do, you can change this out, which has got lots of Paragon, Morgs, and things like that. You can take Endless Walk set out, use a Squirt's Necklace with a COE or a Retro's Ring for more moving speed. Okay. Bane the Powerful Guys, as you kill Elite Pack, you gain an extra 10%. Brilliant. And then, guys, Zia Stone Avengers. Okay, now if you're having trouble with Rift Garden, you have to use Stricken. But this is designed for like low B speed, so you just want something that's going to pop out range. That's why we put Zia Stone Avengers, because all the haunts are zapping out. It's going to do loads more damage at range. And right now, this one's only like rank 96, there's an extra 58% damage bonus. Woo! Smoky. I <laughs> love it. Right, guys, you must use the Haunting Girdle because you need extra Haunt Spirits and also use this rune here, which you actually two spirits on top. So that way, when um, this ring, Seasonal Power, is proccing, you get multiple Haunts going out at the same time. And that way, it'll trigger Jade two-piece bonus and blow up whole script for you. Anything that survives, like I said, just yank it in with Piranhas, the man, and then hit Soul Harvest, man, and blow everything up. Quick okay, so to guys, increases your uh, DOT damage. You must have this. Put a Diamond in the Helm and then Topazes. In your chest and legs. If you need more armor, you can pop in rubies or emeralds instead for more armor bonus if you're too squishy. You might, probably might die a little bit. A little bit, man, a little bit. All right, guys, so uh, Jade Harvester set bonus, for those that know, when Haunt lands on an enemy already affected by Haunt, instantly deals 3,500 seconds worth of Haunt damage. And that's, what we'll, that's why we need these multiple spirits from here and here to proc this. That's what's killing the whole screen, pretty much. It's very, very nice. Four set bonus, guys. Soul Harvest gain effects of every rune. So you get all these runes. You get the armor rune, the healing rune, the movement speed, everything, okay? So just stick on any rune you want. Brilliant. And then, um... Soul Harvest gains effects of every rune and has its cooldown reduced one second every time you cast Haunt the local sword. okay? So every time you cast it, it's resetting your cooldowns. But we've got Ingeom propped, man, from King Elites for 15 seconds, so... <laughs> you should be fine. You should be fine, anyway, okay? Then guys, 6 set bonus. Soul Harvest reduces damage taken by 50% for 12 seconds. Make sure you pop this as you're pushing forward on mobs and all that to keep your damage reduction up. And consumes your damage over time face on enemies, instantly dealing 10,000 seconds worth of remaining damage. I really hope Blizzard buffs this. Okay, I really hope they buff this because this is what needs to change, man, to make this viable in 2022. Season 26. Come on, Blizz, buff it, man. Because it'd be such a cool thing to see Jay, man, actually be used again, man. You know what I mean? It's great. Lovely. Okay, guys, so uh, what's in the queue? In the queue, we have, of course, the Wormwood. Okay, so Wormwood, guys, automatically casts uh, Locust Swarm for us. I'm using the Peasant's Room here, so it's just does 100% straight straight away, okay? So, um, yeah, you must use this, man. Unless you, unless you cast this manually. You know, you could cast this manually if you want to, but we won't make this lazy. Okay, that's why we're using Wormwood, man. Brilliant. Frostburns, guys, because the courts basically are cold, okay, we're using uh, Frostburns, okay, for an extra 20%. Damage as well. And also CCs them as well on the screen. We're going to run over to 50% chance to freeze, which is great. And then, guys, of course, Regal Royal Grandeur achieves six piece bonus as usual. Lovely. All right, guys, so let's do skills. So, yeah, guys, Haunt Revenge Raw Spirits to cast a horn. Bogodile can execute enemies outright. And it's also the seasonal pull mechanic as well. So, you get 60 yards of pull from this item here. Enemies fed by Locust Swarm are also haunted when you cast Piranhas. All haunted enemies within 60 yards are pulled to the pool. That's so you saw me yanking a vein on the spot. Unless an enemy stumbled by Bogdan is instantly killed, elite some bosses stumbled by Bogdan take massive damage. Okay? So, uh, anything that survives your haunts, guys, you know, like I said, you know, just cast Bogdan. Everything goes into the spot. And then, boom! <laughs> Dead. Lovely. Locust Swarm Pestilence Guide, 100% spread to proc Wormwood. Uh, like I said, you know, we get every rune here. Just leave us all to waste, but basically give you movement speed, damage reduction, intelligence buff. Spirit War Severance, guys. Must use Severance, because, you know, it's a speed build, so Severance gives us that crazy movement speed buff. And two seconds of damage immunity. Horrify Stalker, guys. Movement speed buff as well. And a bit of four, a bit of CC. If you need more armor, change this over to Frightening Aspect. That's your 50% armor. 
Okay, if you have any issues surviving. Then, guys, confident ritual for extra damage bonus. Same for Pierce the Veil. Okay, Graven Justice is our cooldowns. And Creeping Death is required on this build because otherwise you won't get the proper damage from the six piece bonus. Again, if you need more tank, uh, what you can do, keep Pierce because you want it to damage to ha happen at range. Change confidence ritual over to Swamp Planet Shaman. Okay, and then you have a lot of tank inside density. Okay, we'll try it out. Like I said, it's only really used at the moment for low GRs unless Blizzard buff the six piece bonus. Awesome. Last but least, guys, of course, is the follower setup. Okay, but for GR speeds, I always use the uh, Thunder Fury. I should have a Wireword ring here. I don't have one at the moment. I, I forgot to put it on. <laughs> but Wireword ring gives you stun on lightning hit. Okay, so it's a really good combo. But I've just got this on for now. Okay, um, yeah, I always use uh, Ice Climbers with this because if we're using another pet build, you know, you can make your follower extremely tanky, man. So. Big tank for the follower, but on this particular build, we're using the follower can't die token. But like I said, if we use the pet build, then you can make it so your uh, the enforcer affects your follower for damage reduction, and then you can have the uh, the token that gives all skills. So I always have this particular setup for no matter what build I have on GR and GR push. Uh, Kane's guys, because we do the swap out for T16 as usual. Check out the previous video for Jade. Um, we want as much attack speed as possible, so wish an hour. Of course, Oculus Ring guys for the pool power, stay inside this for the big damage buff. Stone Gauntlets for the armor buff if you're using the other pet build, just keep this on. Uh, homing Pads for teleport damage reduction if you're in a bad spot. Blind Faith guys for the CC, on Rift Guide, etc, etc. Tarashes, man, just for the attack speed buff. Then, of course, Flavor of Time for double duration of all pylons. And then Nemesis guys to summon champion packs. Okay, and if you're using the other pet version, you know, make sure you use a SO Emulation Guard on your follower as well to keep them alive and amethyst in here and right now i've got charm on amplification powered shield and self res or you can take attack speed if you want to but with this particular build you don't really need the attack speed plus self res for now until you set up sort of thing and there you go guys hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe also guys check out the new merchandise we've got now available on the youtube channel as well down below they've got like t-shirts and things like that so if you guys want to support the channel that way you can now do so as well and i think we've got super chat or something like that guys enabled on channel as well if you want to support that way guys thank you very much for watching enjoy the build uh build description link in the description of the video as usual thanks for watching subscribe for more thanks and enjoy jade harvester boom <laughs>